I praise and thank God for this beautiful morning time that God has given us to come in His presence before His Word. For our meditation today, let's turn to Proverbs chapter 14, verse 30. A sound heart is the life of the flesh, but envy the rottenness of the bones. Creator God has provided many things which is required for the nourishment of our body. As it is necessary for a good life upon this earth. But here the word of God tells us that a sound heart is the life of the flesh. And we know man had a good conscience when he was created by the Lord and that played an important role in his relationship or communion with the Creator. And when he rebelled against God, his soul and spirit was totally cut off from the living holy God as it was corrupted by sin. And sin overtook his whole being and we see how it begins to reveal its nature through his body. Though man has everything to nourish his body and soul and he has attained many heights through his scientific inventions of which he can be proud of, none of these things can ever give life to his flesh. He always lives under the fear of the shadow of death. And as the scripture warns, the sinful nature in him, the envy, rots his bones. Look how clearly the word of God explains the necessities of human life. In a human body, healthy, blown, healthy bones, they play an important role for its proper function. And if the bones are affected by some disease, or when it begins to rot, the whole body becomes a burden for the person. The body can never function properly or do things which it is supposed to do as it has lost its strength. Such a person will have breath in him, but it seems like he is experiencing death in his body. As it seems of no use for him. It is the same with the inner man in a person. It needs to be healthy for the proper life upon this earth. God has provided one life upon the earth for each man and this life is very precious as it decides the life in eternity. And if a person does not have the right relationship with the Lord while he is on this earth, he can never dream of a life with the Lord in eternity. Right relationship does not mean that we need to praise and worship the Lord to please Him. Remember, God is not greedy of our worship. There are scores of angels in heaven who are obedient to the Lord and they worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness always. But when a person has a true relationship with the Lord, he will be away from sin and that, that was once the master of his life. It used to reign over him. And he will have a heart that hates sin and loves the Lord and his blessed will. And that is called a sound heart in which the Lord is pleased. A heart that loves the Lord more than anything else and is always obedient to do the blessed will of the Lord. And that gives life to the flesh of a person. It gives strength to move on and live a life worth it. When a person has that sweet communion with the Lord and he gains strength and guidance to move on in this tiresome journey, though he has many weaknesses in him, he can grow to perfection and do the will of God while he is on this earth. His communion with the Lord with a sound heart will give him the strength that is needed in his life. If the purpose of this life needs to be fulfilled, then we need to be healthy in our inner man. And it will help us to know the divine standards and live according to it. When the mind is corrupted by sin, we can smell the rotten smell of death through the actions of a person. Such a person, though they have good life according to worldly norms, he himself will find that he is lifeless inside. At the time of his departure from this world, he will find that vacuum in his life as he has wasted the opportunities he received in this lifetime. As he has lived for himself, he will never have the boldness to face the Lord, the Creator, the Almighty God. A person who still is controlled by sin and has the sinful nature in him, through which he enjoys the sinful lusts of flesh, he will have that stinking smell of death and so he can never stand before the Holy God. So these days, let us take time to analyze our lives and find out things that brings death in our life. 
Let us pray to the Lord to help us to have a sound heart. Remember, it is the things that come out from a polluted heart that will make us unholy in the eyes of the Lord. May the Lord help us to be upright and holy before the Lord. Let us pray. Father, we praise you and thank you for this beautiful time that you have given us to come in your, in your presence. Thank you for this new week. Lord, help us in these days to search our hearts, to analyze our life, to see our relationship with you. Is it healthy? Is there anything in our life that makes us weak? Thank you for the new life that you have given us. Help us to spend time in your word, to know, know you more and to nourish our spiritual life so that we are able to fulfill your will in our life before time is over. Give us the wisdom for that. May your name be glorified. In Jesus' most holy name we pray. Amen. May God bless each one of us. Our Lord is coming very soon. Maranatha.